Hello, my name is Whitney. And in this project, I want to talk about how artists in the 19th century portrayed both and everyday people in paintings by comparing two arts from two different artists called Max Liberman and Roberto Bompiani. The first art piece I want to talk about is called An Old Woman with Cad in 1878 by Max Liberman, who was born in 1847 and died in 1935. Max Zimmermann was a German painter and a printmaker of Jewish ancestry. He was also one of the leading proponents of Impressionism in continental Europe and Germany. Liberman studied art in Weimar, France, and the Netherlands and lived in Berlin for the rest of his life starting in 1884. From 1899 to 1911, he led the premier avant-garde formation in Germany, the Berlin Secession, and became president of the Prussian Academy of Art in 1920. Noted for his portraits, he did more than 200 commissioned ones over the years, including of Albert Einstein and Paul von Hindenburg. The realism movement in art emerged in the 1840s with French painters, and Liberman was one of the artists who were indebted to the movement. His artworks with the movement challenged conventional ideals of beauty and artistic tradition by focusing on painting everyday people rather than only painting wealthy and nobility at the time. The painting An Old Woman with Cat portrays an elderly woman in a chair holding a black cat. The background setting seems quiet and warm, showing a very contemplative, contemplative moment. Woman's striped skirt with the bright colors of red and blue contrast the color of the black cat and its fur, which draws the audience's eyes to focal points of the composition. The relationship between the woman and the cat seems to be emotionally bonded with the way how the woman is stroking and holding the cat and also leaning her head towards it. The description from the Getty Museum explains how the elderly woman's body also, like the body language, recalls traditional Europe images of motherhood and even Christian depiction of Mary with her infant son Jesus. Liberman used a rough technique style in painting where brush strokes are visible, as you can see in the painting. The lines in this painting are ambiguously used like almost they blend in with each other and are blurry rather than sharp. Overall the color and lighting of the painting color and the lighting of the painting is warm and bright com complementing the existence and relationship between the elderly woman and the cat. The painting gave me this warm and sincere feeling the moment I saw it in the museum. I'm usually more familiar with painting that are strongly connected to the religious aspects or wealthy and world groups of people when I learn about artworks back in the 19th and 20th centuries. However, this painting made me decide to look more into the details that portray everyday common people of the community at the time as well. In his time, Liberman was often criticized for focusing on painting common people and their everyday lives because he refused to paint wealthy and rural groups of people and aspects of society. However, he decided to continue to represent to lower class community and his painting when his, with his belief in social reform to help the disadvantaged in society. From the artist's perspective and details in his work for the painting, I believe this painting is not only representing the warm emotionally bonded relationship of the cat and the elderly woman, but also the intention of the artist regarding the realism movement of the disadvantaged community at the time. Moving on, I want to talk about the painting which portrays a wealthy community and the opposite details in artwork from the first painting. The painting is called A Roman Feast by Roberto Bompiani, who was born in 1821 and died in 1908. Roberto was um, Roberto Bompiani was an Italian painter known for his nickname, the Italian Borgo, due to his work of highly finished paintings of scenes in Roman antiquity. Bompiani's artworks portrayed scenery and people ideally and perfectly expressing important elements 
such as history of religion at the time. As a painter, Bonpiani depicted historical, mythological, and religious subjects in a conservative, idealized, idealized style, making his figures physically perfect and giving them noble spiritual expressions. Later in his life, he served as a professor and the president of the Roman Academia di San Luca. The painting, A Roman Feast, was painted in the late 19th century. And it portrays a luxurious feast with a wealthy host and high social class people in ancient Roman prosperity. This painting was created with Bompiani's imagination of what the feast of luxurious wealthy people in ancient Rome would have looked like. Bumpiani relied on Etruscan and Roman artifacts, archaeology, and description from their sources to draw both realistic and idealistic paintings. He strongly relied on the preserved letter of Pliny the Younger from the ancient Roman. So basically in this letter, it's about how Pliny the Younger describes to his friend what he missed out and all the amazing things at the feast for not coming. So in this way, Bumpiani was able to imagine in his time what they did and ate at the luxurious feast um, of ancient Rome. Most of the people in the painting have ideal physical figures such as glowing soft and smooth skin and wearing satin dresses. The painting is filled with a lot of luxurious props such as leopard rug on the marble floor and marble table with food. The texture and pattern of those details are realistically portrayed. The colors used in the artwork are overall acromatically painted but with the use of vibrant colors in each object and the clothing of the figures which complement the artwork to seem perfect and idealistic, showing the artist's signif significant skills. The lines are explicitly used, dividing each object, background, and person in the painting. It allows the audience to focus on each detail and define the idealistic expressions of the art of the artist. By shadowing the figures on the sides who are mostly workers for the feast and lighting the portly men at the center of the table, we know that artists wanted to tell us that the men have to be a big part of the feast, perhaps the host in the painting. It is very interesting to see how the artists divided the worker and the wealth using the light. Both paintings overall give the audience a completely different aspects and feelings by the way or by the way how they portrayed people's lives of course it has a big part to do with what they draw but i think it is just as important to do with how they draw the paintings both paintings have different line work use of color and lighting and intention from the artist so comparing them to each other by studying the details of the artwork with the artist's backgrounds helped me so much to learn how to adapt paintings with new perspectives. Thank you for watching my video.